Joining me now is Jim Chilton, a rancher in Arizona, and Tom Homan, former acting ICE director under President Trump and a Fox News contributor. Tom, let's start with you. Seven and a half million illegals, uh, that's just what we know of, uh, have come in under Biden, some even through um, Jim's ranch. We're going to talk to him in a moment. And now he's considering executive action? What's the first thing he would need to do to real prove his, really prove his bona fides? Put the Remain in Mexico program back in play. I mean, the Supreme Court, the highest courts in the land that says the Remain in Mexico program is legal. And that was a game changer for the Trump administration. So he could do that. He could have done that three years ago. And the only reason, look, your monologue was excellent. I want to steal it because you did it better than I could do it. But look, they, they, the only reason they're even talking about it now is because of the election. Three and a half years, they didn't do a single thing to slow the flow. Now they realize it's going to hurt him in the election. Now he's going to do something. But I agree with you 100%. If he was to win re-election the day after that election, that border is back open again. But I'm hesitant if he's going to take any action. We'll wait and see. But again, his mm -hmm. actions speak louder than his words. I don't think he's going to take an executive action. We'll see. I agree. I think it's all messaging because that's all they really believe in. Um, Jim, now, I heard that when you go out on your ranch, now, you do always carry a handgun. Tell us about what life is like on the Arizona border. Well, our great, my greatest fear is running into a group of uh, cartel-led people coming through with, with guns, AK-47s. When you are in your truck or your vehicle and you're traversing your very large ranch, you have five miles on the border itself, um, what are you regularly finding that Americans would be shocked to learn about? Well, I have five motion-activated cameras. and. In the last this is three, your ranch we're showing on the screen, by the way, now. In the last three years, I've collected 3,050 images of people in camouflage, carpet shoes, and similar backpacks. And I'm sure been told that at least 20 percent are packing drugs to come into our country to poison our people. Now, you hear about what the Biden administration would, is thinking about doing on the border. Does that give you any comfort, Jim? No. Uh, there are so many people coming through that uh, they are busy processing people. I haven't seen a Border Patrol agent on the ranch proper for over four months. What? Do you reach out to them and say, where the heck are you, or anyone call the office? Essentially, the Border Patrol Guys tell me they're nothing but taxi agents picking up people coming across the border and wanting to be apprehended, processed, and released into the country. <laughs> now, that's a, the hole um, in the border uh, that actually is in your ranch. There's the fence, or the, whatever you want to call that, and then that's where they come through, usually? That's one spot, and then the end of the wall is on our ranch. Uh, it proceeded from Sassabee out uh, east, mm. east, and then on Biden's first day in office, he stopped it, and they had a half a mile to go on my ranch. Oh, my goodness. Well, Tom, this is a heartbreak to hear. This is just one of many stories of people who own land at or near the border. And yet, our secretary of DHS today was called out for actually trying to mislead the public on the number of deportations that are actually being carried out. Watch this. You said 630,000 have been returned. That is not accurate. The actual ICE deportations is 142,580. All those other people that you're talking about were rejected at the border. Th these are not ICE deportations, and you conflate those two numbers, and, and it's aggravating to me that you do that. Tom, they know exactly what they're doing, do they not? It's just like their economic game that they play. The Bidenomics is so great, people can't afford their groceries. It's just another lie under oath. Here's a, here's a cabinet member lying under oath. You know that number is incorrect. It, it, and at the same time, we got historic illegal immigration. ICE has the lowest numbers of removals in the history of the program. But I'll make a promise to, to Rancher Tilton, hang out for January, because in January, we will secure that border. And we'll, we'll, we'll run the largest deportation operation you've ever seen. And we'll give you some safe and comfort on your home property. Guaranteed.
Well, Jim, I'm going to ask you a question that has nothing to do with uh, this topic, because your beautiful wife is here, and you've been married for six... 60 years. 60 years? Okay, what's the secret? My wife is always right, and even when she's absolutely wrong, I refer back to number one. <laughs> Those are the two rules, right? And, okay. Uh, thank you for being with us and telling us your story. This is not the America I know that you grew up in, but I hope we can get that America back. Jim and Tom, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.